What's going on, y'all, man? It's L.A. Rich, and we back with another vid, man. And look, today, we got the one and only Charlie Kirk back on the channel, man, with him doing a video titled, Charlie Kirk Pro-Choice Student Flips. Now, I'm very interested in this video right here, man. Pro-Choice Student Flips. Now, we're going to see how they flip, what makes them pop off. Um, and yeah, but before we get into the video, what I want to say is, thank y'all so much for helping me hit 12.2 thousand subscribers. We on the road to 12.3 now. I appreciate y'all so much for all the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some more videos to react to, man, whether it's from Charlie Kirk, anybody. I don't care who it is. But, hey, enough of the talking. Let's do it. Uh, on abortion, my position currently, uh, but it's open to change, is that um, I'm pro-choice up until the 20-week mark where the my understanding is the studies say that the subjective conscious experience is what I kind of value about life. And so I kind of draw the line right there and then abortions past then I would be in favor of outlawing. Okay. Uh, what's your position it, it, on that? It's a reasonable question. Would, would you say we should stop abortions when brain waves start? Uh, yeah. Pr well, I mean, if brain waves are an indication of the subjective conscious experience, then I'd say yes. Okay, so six weeks, not 20 weeks. Uh, if that's, if that's when the, if, if that's when the mark is and the parts of the brain are communicating okay. with each other to deploy the subjective concept. I'm fine with six weeks. Okay, yeah. so are human beings more than brain waves? Uh, they, pr um, are they more than brain waves? Are you more than just brain waves? Um, no. I don't think so. So you're, you're nothing more than just brain waves? I don't think so, personally. Okay. I think that's um, the most important thing. Like, I'm, the example that I would give you, sorry, uh, the example that I would give is a person in comatose, right, who's indefinitely in coma and is not going to wake up, um, is ho hooked on life support. Right. Arguably, they have the unique DNA. They have the heartbeat still going, connected to the ventilator. I, know, I don't know if you would agree with that. But the, arguably, the most important part that we're looking at there is whether they're awake or not. If they're not going to wake up, I wouldn't consider it murder to kill that People person. come out of comas all the time. That's, that's true. Limited, that's true. Limited, we, if you want, you can come up in a sec. Nine months yep. coma. When, when, um, yeah. I would say that just because there's a temporary lapse in the... In the uh, in the communication between like the brain or just because there's a temporary lapse in okay. the, you still have the parts of the brain so, that are able to deploy the subjective conscious so, experience. Would, would, can we come out to some agreement, heartbeat and brain waves, probably a good time to cut off abortion. Cause that's right around six to eight weeks, right around there. Sure, that's, okay. I'm not so, fine with that. So you're like a radical right winger, man. So I'm not, um, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm like, like that's, I am, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a, I don't, no, I don't want to be like, hard time. No, you're coming no, here in no, good faith, but, yeah, sure. but, you, but at least you're looking at some sort of rational restriction, right? And sure, of course. Yeah. The, the I, radical I don't left, like, they uh, say no restrictions whatsoever. Just let the mother choose. Yeah, which, I, don't, I don't agree with that. No, no, no. So. I'm not saying you do, but <laughs> no, no. No, no. And, and, it, and it, on its face, it doesn't make any sense because sure. if it's the mother's choice, always, if the baby's completely viable, right? Throughout the gestational period, even the third trimester, a third trimester baby at 28, 29, 30 weeks can survive outside of the womb. How is it any different than in the womb, right? Sure, and of course, so yeah. a, a, a value of a baby does not change just because the size, level of development, environment, or degree of dependency that the baby has on the mother. Yeah, and so think, those of yeah. us that are pro-life, we articulate a position that is not always popular, but it's morally correct, which is that life begins at conception, which it begins when new DNA is formed and you are not fully formed at that beginning, but that is when human life actually um, okay. begins. I don't. I, I don't mean this as a gotcha question, but it's actually you genuinely can try your curiosity. Best. I no, it's not. I, I've, uh, I've heard almost all of them. Sure, so. sure. Would you consider Plan B like murder? Because there's no, a well, it, it could be. So Plan B, we don't know if it actually is terminating a fertilized egg. Okay. So because Plan B could be an abortifacient, but okay. it is taken as a precautionary potential abortifacient, right? Sure. So there's there's a difference between. Um, what is an at-home abortion, which is now widespread, where someone knows that they are currently in a gestational 39, 40-week um, you know, development of a, a human being, whereas plan B is like, I had unprotected sex, I just am going to take this just in case, right? Okay. And sure. essentially what plan B does is it nuclear bombs all the eggs, right? Okay. Uh, for that particular, and excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I actually don't think his mindset is bad on it. The student, um... He did change it after Charlie Kirk said uh, something about it, about um, the time period of when he thinks an abortion should be allowed. But, yeah, I think that whole mindset on that, it should be four to six weeks when the brain is developed where they can um, kind of the, the brain is developed enough enough in the, um, in the baby that. It's not just the damn sperm cell at that point. You you get me? I think that's actually a good 
a good way to think about it, bro, or a good um, answer on with how long you think uh, abortions should be allowed until like a time stamp. That's not a bad uh, thought process to me. You know, three to uh, four to six weeks when if the baby's brain is, is developed at that point or somewhere near being developed, nah, cut it off. You know, no more abortions allowed. But anything after that, bro, it, it, you shouldn't be doing no damn abortions, man. If I'm being honest, that baby is alive and well. What Plan B does is it nuclear bombs all the eggs, right? Okay. Uh, for that particular, and excuse the you know graphic nature of it, but that's what it does. So um, it it depends on if the egg is actually fertilized or not, which is I, I would never you know encourage sure. anyone to use Plan B, but sure. it's a little more complicated than. than I understand, I understand. Um, and then my second question, yes, just another hypothetical situation that I've heard on a podcast. I know you've been on the Whatever podcast. Yeah, it's right down the st they film right down yeah, the street by the yeah. way. But I ain't gonna sit here and judge nobody's opinion on it, man. If you got different opinions. If you got different ways you think about it or what should be done, so be it. It's your opinion. You know, live your life. But as far as my my opinion and what I think, that doesn't mean that I can control. You get what I'm saying? So I'm never going to sit here and just rule over my opinion on something when it comes to this heard on a podcast i know you've been on the whatever podcast yep. I, it's right down the street they film right down the yeah, street by the yeah, way in santa, santa barbara, barbara yeah. yeah it's uh really interesting i really like watching the there they have good content yeah don't, um, it's not not a great group of people but yeah oh so. really why okay well okay, yeah. I, I won't i won't it's pretty self-evident but yeah oh oh okay okay well anyway um so there was a, a woman on there her name was jasmine and she i thought she posed like a pretty interesting hypothetical where there's a burning building right and you have 10 fertilized embryos and um, three live babies and it's burning and you only have an option to choose one, which one are you saving? That's a tough question. I mean, first of all, that's a very, it depends if the embryos will ever be used. That's the better question. So if you can guarantee the embryos will then be used into full fertilization, then, then you, to be consistent, you would have to save the 10 embryos. Okay. If they're fully fertilized, then will be used, yes. But okay. the three babies have already gone through the entire gestational period, survived potential miscarriages, other side of, you know, birth-related issues. But that, that's, a, that's a fair and very good question that, you know, to be principled, you have to answer it sure, in a certain sure. way. <laughs> that's, a pretty, that's a pretty crazy question, man. Hey, but good vid i actually like that dude right there man a student he was a very respectful um nice and calm guy you know so let me let me see what they uh the comments saying about this um this young man seems to think for himself and is open to differences of opinions it is refreshing to see a dialogue between two people instead of a shouting match yeah he was very it's hard for somebody to come into a debate especially one of the students coming into a debate and for them to admit that their mind changed because of it, you know, and admit that that what Charlie is saying actually makes sense and then change up what they were thinking at first before they um, walked into the debate. So that's rare. You know, you got to give his props where props is due. Um, call a dad a deadbeat for neglecting his boys, but a mom kills her baby and you call it pro-choice. Mm, okay. You know, like I said, man, it's all... Um, with me, you can think of, I can think away, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to overrule anything just off, based off what I think. You get what I'm saying? But thank y'all so much for, um, and with it too, you, it's situation wise and just everything in general, I feel like it can depend. You, you, you can hear out both sides, man. You can hear out both sides with it. Um, it's all about being open-minded to things, but, um, and then coming to a result at the end. But, hey, thank y'all so much for helping me hit 12.2 thousand subscribers. We interrupt 12.3 now. I appreciate y'all so much for all the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. And nonetheless, that's going to close out the video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's L.A. Rich, and I'm getting up out of here. All right, y'all.